Hi guys, and welcome back to Super Robot Wars. Well, let's take a look at our BGMs really quick. I, I don't know who's who. Not BGMs, the variants, that's what I meant. Like he has an artillery frame because he can fly. Why did I do that? I don't know. Well, next map. Those who scheme. So, we're going to patrol the area outlined on the map. Is that right, June? That's not exactly precise, but yes. It must be because the Radom and Gardosians units can drop in from nearly anywhere. The situation remains the same. Like hunting for a needle in a haystack. It's better than remaining on standby, at least after all. It's not like we had the, f the initiative when we fought the Mecha Beasts and Bedosian Bosians. Still, the best the army can do is estimate the enemy's location and send us in their general direction. We have to, m we have too many enemies, and it's not going to get any better, get better anytime soon. We have experience fighting the Kardosians, Zaft, and Radam extended periods of time. For extended period of time, but we should be watching out for unreported entities like the Devil Gundam and that manned Kardosian squadron we fought at Orb. There's also the Tekaorio. Jeez, this is crazy. Well, it's not like we have a choice. It may be a needle hunting for us, but that's what the army expects of us us to do yeah sure but all right then we'll make our duties tomorrow I'm counting on all of you darn I'm re I'm really feeling it probably wasn't the best idea to drink myself to the floor before going out for patrol what's the matter with you it's still daytime you should have seen the scowl on lieutenant Bagarol's face Kagali. <laughs> Yeah, talk about it unre unresponsible. You deserve that tongue lashing for sure. Keep it up, and you're just gonna eat, earn the second lieutenant's wrath. Affirmative. Last night's activities were truly exciting, especially for Kurtz. He was out like a sack of potatoes. Hey, what am I? Hey, what can I say? I'm still adapting to my new habit. Habitat. Maybe I should try talking with the second lieutenant about helping that process along. Like she'd let you get anywhere near her with that lame excuse. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good luck with that. Even I wasn't able to get on Lieutenant Bagarol's good side. Did you leave your brain back in your mama's womb? Jeez, genius. Jeez, a mecha beast could stomp him flat and he still wouldn't learn a darn thing. Does anyone else think it'd be a good idea to leave him back on the ship next time? Gosh darn it! Who do you think you're talking to? What do you say? What'd you say? Huh? Come on, say that one more time. I dare you. I double dare you, mother... I'd be lost without your beauty and wisdom, Master Sergeant. I thought as much. Don't tell me he's always like that with her. Affirmative. Woo. Captain, can we go back to Nadesco yet? We're already done with the day, and I wanted to get a quick dip in. In, a, in at the bass. Why, sure! Good job, everyone! We still have some business left to take care of here, but feel free to head back. Hey, Miku! Why are you piloting Zero Rhymer? All the Masado told us was that you were already at Last Guardian when he got there. That's right, I was raised there. You were there all the time? Then? All we know was that there were, would come a time when I would have to pilot Zero Rhymer. Usado and I were destined to pilot, but I never thought we would have to fight against so many enemies. No way. And you aren't and you weren't against it? That that never even crossed my mind. Rather, I never had a reason to think that about it. After all, this is all I have. Ooh. I don't know much too much about him, but Seems like that Masato guy isn't a too big a fan of the situation. He's still reeling from shock, I imagine. 
Yeah, it'd be nice if he could... He at least brightened up his attitude a little. I mean, even Hiroshi and Kasaki are doing their best. Yeah, if he's gonna fight with that imp, that wimpy spirit of his, he's in trouble. Don't you guys think it'd be best not to press him about that? He just needs some time to adjust. From what Miku told us, he's practically got forced into fighting right out of the blue, right? Yes, there were many reasons for that. He trapped, he's trapped in an inescapable predicament, so it's no wonder he hates it. It's going to take some time before he finds a good reason to agree with all this. Wow, you seem awfully sure of that, don't you? But it's probably true. <laughs> After all, Bobby and Masato are roughly the same story. It's alright. He'll fight. That is our destiny. Destiny this, destiny that. Destiny schmestity! The only way it'll do the boy any good as if he actually wants to fight. How is it, Koji? Isn't it cool? Wow, that's Venus A? Finally, we get Venus A. I need a good healer. Actually, I had Budley. Why did I not use Budley in the last fight? Why was I using Boss Bullet? Oh, isn't it great, Sayaka? It's beautiful. It's almost like they modeled it after you, Sayaka. Oh, Koji. I heard they really did model it after Sayaka. That's disgusting. Hey, what do you mean by that? Oh, don't get the mad about it. I didn't mean you. Yeah, I don't think it's a great idea to make a combat mecha that looks like a girl. Either. Who knows what kind of girl-hating freaks will, will run into- <laughs> Fine, since it's my robot, then I don't mind it being beautiful. That is so like something un Iribaki would make. I see Sayaka can get angry over things like this too. Angry? Passionate, he meant. Passionate! Koji has his Mazen Kaiser, and now Sayaka has her new robot, Venus A. I wonder if it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade our combatler. How about it, Kosuke? I bet you've been planning lots of stuff in that little. in that for a while now. Yes, I wanted it to be really ready soon, but they told me Professor Yas. Yatsuya was busy. So, Sayaka, do you like it? Yes, it's great! You're all, you, you've all survived some serious struggles to make it here. Miss Lori, Miss Loru. You two brought Venus, eh? Sure is here with us, too. That's right, brother! You'll have to look after me from now on. Oh, great, another person to read for! Will it ever end? No, no, it will not. You? Jeez, I can't help it. Hey, everyone, this is my little bro, Shiro. He's a snotty little brat and incredibly annoying, but, um, please look after him, thanks. Annoying and snotty? Bro, I'm gonna kick your... Ah, I mean... Nice to meet you guys. Hey, Sosuke, why the heck are you still putting traps in front of my room? The ship is in a danger zone. <laughs> the ship is a danger zone! <laughs> Even when it... In a relaxed environment, you can ne never neglect your security. You always do this, and why did you decide to use a bomb? It's not a bomb, it's a hand grenade. Don't worry, it, I'm a specialist. I carefully measured the pen powder, so it'll only serve as an early warning device. Then shouldn't you make it a pop gun or something? Like a loud noise making device, not a freaking grenade? I can think of a hundred different items that would work better for an early warning device than a freaking grenade! It shouldn't cause too much damage. I am so happy Hero Yui is not in this game. Just because the Hero Yui Sosuke talks would never end! I don't know why I'm, I'm saying this now, but I just had it in my head or something. And what if me or one of the crew members gets caught in this thing? No problem, this ship's crew and pilots are, should be able to realize what this is at first. Lance, after all, even you spotted it, didn't you? Well, that's true, but I don't see this ending well. I'm glad you understand. One must be careful on the battlefield. Oh my god, I bet it's gonna be one of my one of the girls I'm stuck with. Or I'm gonna get stuck in it, I bet. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just get it over with. Still, it's probably a good idea to at least warn somebody about Don't tell me. It must be an infiltration specialist. Troy, stay here. Hey, wait, Sosuke! Who is who got blown up? Hey, you freeze! Oh, it's Eureka! 
Eek! What was that? Isn't that Eureka? You idiot! Hurry up and apologize! Shidori, that was the captain. No, that means our gal has finally realized what's going on. We must escape at once! I never thought the captain girl would be our enemy, but... No one on this ship can be trusted. Chidori, do, don't leave my side. We must we have to join up with now and contact it down and <laughs> No, this is all a big mistake. Eureka only came to speak with me. Ah, really? Thanks to that idiot, they'll put me more or worry weird rumors about out there about me again. Oh, Kanane. You're with Sosuke. What happened? I thought I saw Eureka running around with a pitch black face and crying. Uh, no. I mean, er, I mean... I wonder what that was about. Um, what are you doing right now, Akito? We're all needed on the bridge. What do they want us for? There for? Don't tell me they're here to for us already. <laughs> it seems Masato was abducted. What? Adopted? Yeah, that sure brings back bad memories. So what the heck happened? It seems that Mr. Akitsu left the base by himself some time ago, after which he was accosted and taken away by some kind of mysterious assailants. Why did he move out alone? I can't even begin to comprehend this. He should be, be aware that as a pilot of this squadron, he's a valid target for several organizations. He was suffering tremendously. That's probably all there is to it. Everyone has moments when they want to be left alone. His only mistake was leaving the base. So which of our enemies took him? Don't tell me it's Baron Ashura and the other guy again. What are we going to do? We already know where Mr. Akitsu is being held. Miss Haruma has the captain's permission to attempt the rescue. Oh, that subject. I don't see the captain around here. She is in the bath. Well, yeah, last time I saw her, her face was pitch black. Do we know the where his whereabouts? Did you put a transmitter on him? Yes, on both counts. So who wants to come with me? I will accompany you, Mamsuel. Oh, it's George! That's not a very French... Is that a French name? I don't know. And there's our American stereotype. This kind of fight was made for us. Don't worry about a thing, baby. I can't do a New York accent, so I'm doing Texan. I don't know. There's no way we can lose. Bang, bang. I'm going too. It's Zool. I want to put a Ghostbusters clip here, but I'm not doing that. It's cool cliche. <laughs> the preparation preparations are proceeding steadily. Darn you, Hanel. You stupid greenhorn. You will n die soon, and then I will become the Earth Invasion Army's commander in your place. What is it? Zul, Lord Hanel is calling for you. Uh-oh. What can I do to your Lord Hanel? So, Zul, you were in your quarters plotting something suspicious, correct? That's what the secret intelligence person now reported to me. Anyway, if you have any excuses for your behavior, I expect to hear them now. What? Darn it! The plan's been leaked! I must find a way to... Th that's absurd! I was only working to further your plans to invade, my lord. Then why are you hesitating? Don't tell me. Leave it, Chintiel. Are you already prepared to achieve victory, Zul? Or, tell me, what are you up to? W well, as you already know, I believe it is important to expand our army's armed forces in order to conquer Earth. I've developed a control device similar to the one used by the Cardosians. Unmanned weapons in order to do so. A Cardosian control device? Y yes, they use it to get an edge in battle, so I see no reason why we should not do the same with our beast fighters. Are you telling us to fight like the ghost Cardosians of all things? Darn you! Is that horn of yours a mere ornament? As a proud noble of Bozen. I can barely find it within me to excuse this. Lord Hinnell, please. I only did it to grant us the victory. You you so desire and to prove my loyalty. Please stop, General Cadell. And there are no lies in what you just told me. 
Uh, of course not, Prince Hinel. Fine enough, Trinigal Zul. In defiance to your loyalty, I will make an exception. You may go. Lord Hinel, that's... Th thank you very much, my lord. But there are conditions. If you're telling me you can achieve victory by sacrificing your pride, I want to see proof. I don't care if you use the unmanned Kardoshian units. Just make sure to defeat the Earthlings. I want their heads on a silver platter. Th that means... Can you do it? Didn't you say you develop a device to achieve victory? That you threw aside your pride to work out the foolproof plan utilizing Kadrosian weapons? Is that true? Then your victory is assured. Or am I mistaken? N no my lord! I see. Then be warned, Zul. If you fail, I will cut your horn off myself. After all, it will be of no use to someone who has lost his pride. Beware. Most impressive, Lord Hanel. Zul, all his words were lies. Did he actively believe I would fall prey to his plan? The fool! I'm wondering, will dear old General Zul fight like a mad... Like mad to the death? Win or lose, he should be aware that there's no way he can escape alive. <laughs> Greenhorn! Grrr! No matter! With the Grodosian's unmanned weapons at my disposal, I should have been able to take control of the underground castle, but after that br rush with death, a chance may yet to emerge. <sighs> You'd do well to watch me, Hanel. And yeah, pet Janical, too. I will defeat the Earthlings, and I will dispose of you. <laughs> uh, where am I? Where are you people? Do not be so impudent. You stand before the leader of Tekioru. The Tekioru Hayu Dragon? You're their leader? It seems your observation skills aren't much bo to boast of either. I can't believe you left your base all alone. Perhaps you underestimated us. No way. Why? Why? Because you are Zero Rimer's pilot. You are one of the people who killed Taya. T Taya? You didn't even know the, his name. He's one of the Hakus, Hakashiyu pilot of Landstar of the Winds. Oh, him. But that was... And that is your sole cry. You were intended to succeed Masaki Kihiro's will. And that is the greatest sin before us, the Tekiyoru. Ma Masaki Kaihara? You know nothing. Are you telling me you happily lived your whole your life while the Teki Moryu wasted countless bitter years buried deep inside the earth? Who's Masaki Kihara? What the heck does this have to do with me? You wish to know? If so, then your life is forfeit. I'm gonna die anyway, I don't care. Tell me! Fine, you shall learn. And after that, you shall die. Well... Takiaru developed a giant robot army in order to control the Earth. Sphere. It has been already 15 years since then. Our Hakashiu robots were developed to be controlled by one pilot, and one pilot alone, Masaki Kihara, registered yet an unborn pilot. A mere encoded zygote inside the test tube to Zerimer. But then he betrayed the Takiaru. He stole Zerimar and betrayed the rest of the Hakatsu robots and destroyed the rest of the Hakatsu robots, as well as the Tekioru Fortresses core in his escape. Because of him, we were forced to waste the last 15 years rebuilding, and now we find that the pilot who was res registered to pilot Zero Rimer is a young boy. Don't tell me that Zero Guy you mentioned was you, Masato Akitsu. A cursed lineage is that if there ever was one. I was genetically engineered to pilot your rhymer then? Is that all there is to my life? Please answer me. Who am I? You are. You're no one. Just your rhymer of the skies pilot. Ugh, no! Are you quivering under the weight of your cursed destiny? In that case, I will cut your pain and suffering short, and your ad abominable life as well. Who dares? No mistake about it, this is the place! I've been looking for a chance to really let loose. Shh. They let intruders in. Ha! That's not gonna work. C you! Sister! 
Please refrain from moving. While I re reluctant to fight a woman, I fear I am in no position to choose. Huh? Are you alright, Masato? Let him go. You're his friends, I take it. I am Mikuru Himura, Zero Rhymer's pilot. We came to save him, so you better step off, girl. You won't escape. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and stop me. Zero Rhymer has more than one pilot? That woman. Tai, pursue them. Wait, a pair of both the Hayoks, Haiketsu robots, with Zero Rhymer in their hands. Taking it back will be far more difficult. We must ensure that those two are killed. I give permission to send forth the mercenaries as well. Those people are nothing but specks of dust before our goals. MORE DIALOGUE! Yeah. Well done, everybody. I'm glad to see that Masato is alright, too. Going all out? Dang. If you aren't here, then Zerima can't move. You have to be more responsible. Why did you save me? Masato, just because I'm Zerima's pilot, is that why you brought me back? What do you mean? So, they were all worried sick about you. Because if I'm not here, then you can't use Zerimer. Hey, cut it out already. Oh my god, it's freaking Shinji! This is why Eva's not in this game! We have to deal with this guy! Ugh! Yeah, that's why even Gelling is probably not in this game, man. You gotta deal with this crap! Uh, Masato. You're a freaking Shinji clone. Or, or is Shinji a clone of you? I don't know! What is it, Ruri? It seems to be an attack. Oh, lovely! We get a fight! Oh, God. The enemy compre compressed of various armed slaves and two unknowns. Those two are Hakatsu robots from Tekeoria. Those chicks from before, huh? Interesting. Masato, let's go. Okay, we got guaranteed. I'm going to be more reasonable with my picks here. Voltus. Um, Mazen Kaiser. I like him. Shining. Gonna pick main units first. Uh, Venus A. Strike. Budley. Budley's a healer and replenisher, I think. M9's more astrovolts who need leveling up. The Earth, he may brain. I don't like the brains. I don't, I don't like their design. Okay, I got seven spots left. I'll take the Arbalest, the Lancer. Okay. Uh, Bolt. Great. No, not. Change units. I'm not done yet. No Great Mazinger. Uh, Gundam Maxter, Gundam Rose, Dragon Gundam. One more. Ah, Aikido. Change position, let's take a look. Let's do it that way, so I'm gonna move uh, you over here. I'm gonna move everyone over here, because it's easier that way. Nope, nope, you're a healer, you stay in the back. Uh, you're a sniper, you're also a sniper, but you go in the front. I don't have knuckles here. Up, oh, Akito. Nope, nope. Akito doesn't go there. Akito goes here. Grant D go in the front. Uh huh. You sniper, so you go here. Arbalest, I brought you because you're new. Of course, I brought the Gundams. I'm a Gundam guy. Okay, you here, and I'll. Super robots have low mobility, so I'm gonna move. Uh, Normal robot. Ah, perfect. I move a guy who's walking. Oh, he. Akito, move up there. And I think that's good. 
There he is. Yes, there you are, Zero Rhymer. Are you all right, Masato? You can go on, can't you? I can. After all, there's no reason for my, me to be able to live other than pile up this thing. Masato. City is r right next door. We can't involve the citizens. They're still seeking shelter. Don't think I make it close to it. Oh, God. Zero of the skies. I will deal with you here and now. Behold the power of the... Tau. Lock onto Zero We'll use the twin lords. Don't fall back. Masato Akitsu, Miku Hiruma, can you hear me? We the Akatsu would deal with you. Ch, it's them. What's the matter, Masato? Hurry up and take control. I can't. I know the people who are piloting those robots. If I fight with Zero Mario, I may kill them. They're the enemy! That may be, but I still know them. Masato! What are you doing? If you can't fight, then get out! You're only going to be a burden otherwise. Oh, but it's another freaking Shinji! Uh, sorry, kid, but he's right. There's no use in being in there if you don't want to fight. Yeah, I can pick someone else to go out. Um, maybe Voltus. Voltus would like to come out and kill people. Or, or I could, I can make Izumi the Wall come out. Why am I calling her Izumi the Wall? Sorry, kid, but he's right. There's no use to being out there if you're not going to do want to fight. You should just step back. Not fight. Whoa! What happened to Masato? Not Shinji! Not Shinji! Who doesn't want to fight? <laughs> uh, M Masato? All I have to do is crush them, right? Piece of cake. What's the matter with him? His voice got totally different. Are you alright? Ha! <laughs> I got you, huh? Still playing with your toys? I see you aren't worthy of fighting me. Masato, we have to take the fight to them. The people aren't done evacuating. Huh. There's no need for us to worry about that. We can let them get a little worked up. Over those trashy human. What is wrong with you, Masato? He is mind flipped! Masato? He has snapped! Hold on, do you hear what you're saying? Mr. Akitsu has completely changed. Does he have a split personality? Wait, Masato doesn't. Don't do this! Stop it, Masato Akitsu. What are you doing? Don't order me around. What? Masato, what are you? Masato, you. I can't say it. Wait, I won't let you go any further. Sato, stop it! Oh, does the puppet want to order me around? Ch Sato, why are you... Fine, it'd be troublesome for all of them to become my enemies. For now, I will do as you ask. What happened to him? What do you mean by that? What's the matter? There's no need to worry about it much. I said I'll cooperate. Darn you. Natalia, leave it... Our priority right now is taking on the Tekoria, leaving the enemy away, away from the city. I'm counting on all of you. Oh boy. Wait. Actually, that's, I think I did some good positioning here. You're still stuck back here, huh? Of course you are, you can't fly. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm bringing the ship up. I forgot to land it. I forgot to land any of them. They're better on ground, I'm so stupid. Actually, I'm just trying to get them out of the city right now. And that's it. Let's see if this changes the attitude of the... Yeah! Idiot, even if you do hit me, this is all that will result. You will vanish in the face of power of the skies. So what, is Zia Rhymer possessing him or something?
Oh, you, you, you missed Masad. You missed unknown person who's taking over Masato's body. Oh, come on, combatler. Support defense. And it... Yes. More support defense. Ah. Oh, combatler's now an ace. DCS did nothing, but we did some heavy damage. Okay. What we got? Focus, alert, scan. I Does anyone here have gain or luck? That would be useful right now. 